I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for snitches. I'm an addict for What's cool? What's good? Back up in the building. It's your boy DJ Dells back with a brand new episode here at the Sneaker Attic Show. I wanted to do an episode just going through some of my favorite sneakers that I own in a black and yellow colorway. I love the color combination of black and yellow. I'm a big fan of that. And we'll start with this pair right here. This pair of Adidas that I got from Adidas. This was a surprise and I had no clue what they were sending me. I opened the box and this is what I got. Got my name over here and I love that. I mean, who's not gonna love that? Surprise sneaker from Adidas, got your name on it. I was like, yo, this is crazy. I was so just blown away by it. I mean, it was just really, really nice that they did that. Outsole glows in the dark and over here, I'm pretty sure glows in the dark too. The lace is glow in the dark and it was a real nice surprise, these Adidas that were custom made for me from them. Next we got, bang, the Thunder 4s right here. I mean, if you're gonna talk about a black and yellow sneaker, you gotta mention this shoe right here. One of my favorites as far as with a black and yellow colorway. You can't <laughs> talk black and yellow and not have this in the mix. Definitely one of my favorite sneakers in a black and yellow colorways. Definitely these Air Jordan Thunder 4s right here. And we'll put these right here. And I'm going to show you another pair of Jordans right now. These I actually designed. And I'll show you them and then talk more. These shoes I designed over at Nike ID. And it was unique because of the fact that the shoe was only available at first to 575 people. They sent an invite out for 575 people to be the first to design their own Air Jordan 1. This is the Alpha Air Jordan 1. You know, they switched up the sole a little bit and added some perforations and whatnot. But it's basically your Air Jordan one shoe you know just with a few modifications which i don't mind at all it's still got the same silhouette basically so i got the invite to design this i was like i'm on it like, i was really excited to be invited and be one of the first to design this shoe and it was cool because they actually numbered each shoe out of 575 of us that were the first to design the shoe on Nike ID. So it is, I guess, kind of rare, you could say, being that it is labeled like that on the back of the shoe. And it's a little different. On the tongue, it's a little different than what you would get at Nike ID. So it's definitely, so it's definitely really unique. And I really love that about this shoe. It does have my name over there, as you can see. And on the back, it may be a little different on the back than the ones that you can get now that are available at Nike ID. And you could design a shoe like this over at Adidas' site too. You know, they have a program like how Nike ID has. I'll show three more shoes. I don't want the video to be too long. You know what I got to show you next is the Bruce Lee 9. As soon as the LeBron 9 was available to design on Nike ID. I was like on it. I think I designed this within the first week. The Kobe 5 Bruce Lee shoe. I really love that colorway and it sold out so quick and the resale was like three and change, 350, somewhere around there. And I was like thinking about buying it and then I was like, you know what, screw that. I'm gonna just design this shoe right here because I like the LeBron 9. I'm gonna just design this shoe in that colorway. It'll cost half the price and I can make it the way I want it to be, put my name on the back of the tongue. So I designed this and I'm very happy with it. I actually own multiple pairs of these just because I love this shoe so much. I ordered multiple pairs of these on Nike ID, which you don't really see often. Someone picking multiple shoes just so you have backup shoes because you love the shoe so much on Nike ID. You always hear about people doubling up, but never on Nike ID. But that's how much I love this shoe. I actually have more than one pair of these right here. And I'm not selling them, by the way. Then we got this right here. The Bruce Lee 
inspired 10 which again fire i love how this was a brighter yellow and i love this splatter right here kind of got that like blood splatter feel to it which i loved and this one came out great love how this came out i'm so happy with the way this came out i wear this so much and it still is holding up really well too and last but not least you already know i gotta show these the lebron 11 bruce lee's i had to keep it going you know, I did the 9, I did the 10, it was like, I gotta do the 11. I really, at first, was thinking, I think I'm good. I think I got enough black and yellow shoes. I mean, look at that. I have a lot of black and yellow shoes. Like, I've got five pairs right here, and I'm sure I even have another few pairs lying around somewhere that are black and yellow. Did I really need to do this one? Yeah, I really did, because of the fact that you know, it's kind of like I created my own series now, having the 9, the 10. I would have kicked myself in the ass later on if I didn't get this done. And I'm so happy with the way it came out. It's definitely black and yellow like the others, but they all have different tones to them. As you can see from the 9, it's a darker yellow than... The 10, it's a lighter yellow. Now this one right here, this 11th model, it's got kind of like this metallic shine on the yellow. So they all have a little bit of a different flavor, different cuts with the silhouette and the shape. I'm very happy with them. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. And that's it for today. I just wanted to do a quick video and just show you Knocking Lottie Dottie We got your wavy off that mile 